in your ELA notebook, you'll turn to the table of contents and write multiple sources and in parentheses write text features dot 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 page 31 to 32. Then you are going to turn to page 31. You're going to glue this page down. Make sure you write page 31 wherever you are keeping up with your page numbers. And then turn to page 32. Glue this page down and write page 32 wherever you are keeping up with your page numbers. So this week and next week we are going to look at getting information from multiple sources. So that can mean reading two different sources on the same topic, like watching a YouTube video on alligators and reading a book on alligators. That's two different sources, multiple sources. It can also mean using different sources within the same text to get information from. For example, if you had a book about alligators, you could get information from a glossary. Captions by pictures is always a great source of um, information that a lot of kids just skip over. Okay, you, captions are important to pictures. Um, headings to different sections in the book, that's a good place to get um, information. Diagrams, you see a lot of diagrams in, sec in science text and the diagrams show you how things work. Um, let's see. Something, we already said photos or illustrations, you can get things from and the captions by them. Something that's in bold or italicized, that is always made to stand out and it should be important. It should signal that it's important to you. Those are the ones that you see most often in um, in a social studies text, you'll probably see something like a timeline. Um, you'll also see maps in social studies texts. In most texts, you have indexes, glossaries, and a uh, table of contents. We even have a table of contents in ours. Now, I'm not going to go through and read each of these to you. You can read each of them on your own on page 31 and 32. And just be prepared to use them in our workbook pages this week. Be prepared to find all the different text features to get information from all those different sources. Now, in your word study book, you're going to glue down. This is not word study, but in your word study book, you are going to glue down um, this page for unit 16. And then you will make sure in your word study book you do four activities uh, with these suffixes this week.